So today, people are still sleeping in my house, so I can't be too loud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can hear myself talking, that's lovely. Great name, Duck on Quacks. I was about to just go a bit thicker, but the problem is you get overlapping here. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't got one on that side. That's interesting. Uh, let's play some music. There we go. I'm not going to be talking too loudly, so we have the music a little bit quieter than usual. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, um, yeah, I want to make these parts thicker then. Grab both of these. Enough to cover that, but not too much that it comes over this. Let me make that a little bit thinner. This direction, please, thank you. So it's just behind it. That's fine. Same thing here. Do so that's all three of these. because I know I need to pull up these essentially I think that's the only thing I need to pull up looking thick enough look at that nice On a roof. Actually, I made him a little too thick, I think. Uh, only here looks a little too thick. 
Let me hide this wall. I want to fix some of these now while I'm here. I didn't really do much with the rafters. Um, so let's actually do... Okay, so this is the wrong one. This is actually do something with these. How do I keep selecting? It really wants to. <clears throat> it really wants me to select this wall. There you go. We join them together. And we pop. Actually, put all of them. I'll do one side at a time. In just a tad to get slight curvature. This, like, how does it? Do you see that? It's like coming towards me. How, how does it think I want to go this way? Hey, my lord, how's it going, man? I think that's not a bent. Question is, should they be across like I've got them here, or should they be just on the top and coming across like that? Know what I mean? I like them intersecting with the wood. I'm not gonna lie, I like them like this. Do I want. a beam going across the middle? So I need to actually um, get some shaping on these as well. If we like. Damn dude, this is looking hella good. Thank you, man. You're looking hella good. Second time you'd be in this stream like this week. That's crazy. Roberto, that's, uh, that's uncommon for you. It like I'm really like when how cool yeah. God, you're here after so long, wow. You can sound like that, so we've got some like bent beams. Pretty much what I want. We join them together. Steve did never be that bent. Again, at some point when I'm getting a little bit more detail and everything, I'll do like a wrong button. Let's look. Oh right. Yeah, I'll get like cuts in it like this. You know, you know the deal. I'll be doing it lots. But again, in a way later and I've got whoops my decisions final and those kind of things while I'm here before I forget I'm upside down before I forget I don't really go on Twitch or YouTube often to be honest and if I'm looking for streams it's mainly Twitch YouTube I use more for tutorials or random she's all yeah I mean I prefer Twitch but I was getting an average of four viewers when I was over there um, so it didn't feel very worth it to stream over there when I've got an audience already on YouTube, right? Some people are quite upset about it. And I respect that. If you used to watch me over at Twitch and uh, I don't stream there anymore, it's fine. Um, you being upset about that. But at the end of the day, they weren't watching me over at Twitch. <laughs> um, so... I try my best to respect, to try to appease the, the masses, you know. But 
but I love Twitch. I think Twitch is so much more fun. I don't get any because it used to come up when I got followers and stuff, but because um, because I can't really do that on YouTube because I'm getting followers on my channel all the time for my tutorials. I'm just never being told when people follow. Oh, I'm, I'm never getting the alerts. I'm like, man, I miss when I used to get the alerts. You know, it was quite a nice feeling. Um, I was like, got the, one of my voice lines because all my alerts became me saying silly things. Um, I don't get that anymore. I'm like, man, I missed that. It was very fun. Yeah, I, I, I have Streamlabs and stuff, but I can't enable subs because people sub to my normal YouTube all the time. Otherwise, I'd be hearing it go off all the time. Um, they don't sub through my streams often. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm using Streamlabs right now. I'm using the exact same software I used to use for Twitch. That's a thick window. Yeah, I get you. Good. Oh my god, this is such a thick window. I'm going to have to... I have to pull one of the rooms in or pull one of the rooms out, I think. It still doesn't. Wow. That's so much further away than I thought it was. Yeah, look, look how far away it is. Can I stretch it out and it not go wrong, though? I've got the shape so weird now. Get all those come in. Maybe I'll just make this thicker. Very thick. Jesus. Okay, not that thick. I'm close though. Very close to the thickness it's got to be. About there. There you go. Like, it's not something you're going to really care about how thick it is when you're actually in here. Like, that's not going to mean anything to you. Um, that's cool. Hello. Cerulean? Llama. Cerulean? How's it going? I pronounce names terribly. It's one of my, one of my many talents. You know, I, under under the ship, I really want. Um... Oh yeah, I gotta fix that. Yeah, I mean, even with uh, the basic lighting that you have in Blender, you have that one or that one. Like you're just not gonna look up unless I take a picture specifically up there. Especially if I, I would love to make this scene something you guys could fly around. Because the scene would be really fun if I do all the interiors. Um, yeah. Although, having some like light getting casted through there would be awesome. Suppose you're modeling inside two, you most would focus on it. I mean, I'm pretty much done most of the outside. And I thought, how cool would it be if I could open the front door? Like, pop open the front door and enter and I could explore the ship I thought oh that'd be so awesome you got all this light coming in from the front turn around you got under the ship go back upstairs we'll fly through video exactly I think it'd be so cool and it just shows it can also do interiors um, so this could be really, really cool. Little pillow here where he looks outside. A 
and do that. There you go. Oh, wait, I never noticed that before. That middle... Wait. wait a minute. Oh, there isn't a middle one. What the? Was that just the lighting glitching? A little bit there. I thought was... um. Oh, but that's because of the mirror. No, it's not. Clipping. Match. Merge. So you've been using Blender for a while, what do you prefer? I think Blender's a great, great modeling tool. It's got so many, like, I don't use Maya full Maya because it's way too expensive, but, um, like, cloth simulations and stuff, there's, like, some of this really basic stuff. I'm still using Maya because I'm going to switch, but it's not really what they want in the industry at the moment. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you want to, the thing with Maya, I said this before on, uh, literally my stream yesterday, Maya feels like I've been given a hammer. And I've told hammer in these nails, and it works perfectly fine at the job, right? Pop your hammer, smash them in. Blender, however, feels like I've been given my nails, and then someone said to me, "Here's 20 different tools you can use for the job." And one of the tools is like an automated hammer. And you just place it over the freaking nail, and it goes doo -doo -doo -doo, and nails it in for you. You don't even have to hammer it yourself. Um, that's what Blender feels like to me. It's a piece of software that tries its best to do the job for you. Um, that sounds like it's a bad thing, but that, no, it's an amazing thing. Um, where Maya, you can do the job perfectly well using Maya's tools, but it's still like using a hammer with nails. It's not, it's not making the job easier, but if you're, if you're really like my dad, for example, my dad's like the, one of the biggest handyman, handymen I know, like he will get a nail, plonk it on some wood and then smack once and it's in. I can't do that. I'd smack, 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 smack. And then it's finally in. I have to hit it like four or five times. And I, I, I'm i so... Like, he doesn't even care if he hits his fingers. He just freaking does it. Um, like, if you're really good at it, you'll get it done really quickly. That's that's Maya to me. If you're, if you're really good at using tool, it's perfectly fine. But Blender, yeah, tries to give you all these extra tools. You know what I really want to make? It's kind of not off topic, but what song is this? Sims. Oh, I don't want this song. I don't like it. Yeah, I put a lot of windows on the building and then afterwards I was like Jesus I have to make a hole for all of these the light looks terrible over it oh yeah let me quickly um forgot I was doing this area spot spot I was actually recommended blend I used blender when I was 13 years old so don't be misconstrued it's not a software um I'm new, new to. I used to use it a very long time ago, um, but I was actually recommended by one of my um, one of my good friends who works in the industry, and that he was making the move over to Blender because he really liked it. Go to the end. Not radius size, not size. Did I increase its like distance? Distance. No. I was in the light, but not quite what I want. You just radius it. And that's just that size. Alright. I'll just literally do that. But it looks super bright up here, yeah. Add a little bit more size to it. Let's have it slightly moved over to the side. Okay. Oh, something like that. So you get the lighting of this. Make it a bit softer. You get a nice little lighting effect. Okay, okay. I'm a fan. 
Oh, gonna have to shoot. Gonna leave it on lurk. Okay, see ya, man. Have a good one. <clears throat> oh, I went down the wrong hour almost. Yes. Um. <coughs> okay. Jeez. Um, stylized chest. I can always use reference. No, oh, that's pretty good. Pretty simple. I like that. Big lock on the front. Looks like a, a video game item. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. <coughs> that wasn't um. Wasn't good. Clearly didn't go down the right hole. Do you guys ever do that with like your spit? And that's just horrible. But like you'd be like you swallow, and even though you swallow. All the time throughout the day, you will swallow it and it will go down like the wrong hole. And you're just like, <laughs> and you're like, I think it's like coughing a bunch. You're like, what, what's going on? I hate when that happens. And then some of you are going to be like, no, that's never happened to me before, ever. I'm like, uh oh. Okay. Um. I feel like the better way to do this. Oh, and did so much. Bring this up to the top and then select both edges. And something like that. Uh, a little too high. It also probably scale it. Yeah. There it is. And we want to fix this massive end gone. Uh, I think I want this to come to a point as well, so it's good. Center. Okay. Just like that. What the? What's your second edge here? I feel like I would do a Z brush of this to make it a high poly and not actually have it in. Excuse me. Not actually have it in the uh, model. So like that. Cool. Now I want.
Um, but I don't want the center to be where it is. I guess it's a the top way thin, isn't it? Go on, moderate, keep me company. Tell me what's going on. That's a good idea what I'm just looking at, so let me um, select, select both of these, there you go, and uh, here, disconnect them, and it, like, side that it comes at the bottom, it's so random what it just seems to decide what it wants to do, always interests me quite a lot. Oh, well I didn't. Looks like this, there you go. Oh god, I separated out a little too much, that's fine. Pull them up. Pull them up. That is coming over way too far. Let me go back into the other lighting. Oh my lord. So, scale these down a little bit. Scale, I think, the top one up a little bit. So, I said, don't want to do them at the same time because I want them to be. Sort of randomly scaled. Cool. Let's duplicate around here. Uh, uh, fatter. Yeah. Cool. Bit fatter than that. Bit fat, and I think a little bit closer. A little too close. This is definitely Persona, right? Still do it on these bits. But I won't do it on top. Yeah, I think I like that. Cool. A 
little bit of bumpiness to it now. A little too wide, I think. We're gonna need to make it a little bit thinner. There you go. As always, I don't make things easy for myself. I'm very good at that. <laughs> very good at making things very hard for myself. I don't want to do this. Let's have that in that picture, but I don't quite like the way it's done there. No, I have a ring here. I mean, I would still want a uh, cylinder of what? 10 sides? That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. Real normals. I want to have all of these, like that. Mm. Oh, missed one. It's a bad habit of doing that. Do you guys do the same thing? I miss. Uh, no. I miss. Uh, like one as I'm going around things. I'm like. Uh, we'll get a bevel on it. Well, actually, oh yeah. We get a bit th thicker. Bevel. Angle. Scale. There you go. a little bit thicker hmm, maybe any Then how do I attach that? By a cylinder, maybe? How much way around that needs to go? Let's see. Let's go like... Something like that, something like that. Um, and then that makes me not like this one now. Like too smooth. I think I prefer something like that more, make it a little bit smaller. But if I make you small, I'm going to make you a little bit smaller. Which is fine. This is fine. Mm. 
Okay, so that's the little handles. And I'm going to put one more bit here. It's not like it's like a little bit of a plate. Site rotation bit. Oops, that's one of the back faces. That's really in there. Let me uh, push it out a little bit. I guess it doesn't have to be as thingy. Uh, I don't want it as wide either. No, that said. Hey man, how's it going? You've been on a lot of my streams lately. You want absolute babe? Man, Gridfield never works for me. I think it's probably because I'm using it incorrectly, but... Oh, that makes me think. Should I have this slightly shifted? Like that, there you go. Ain't got any modifiers on you now, yeah? You still got modifiers, let's go just apply that in. Okay. Uh, hmm. Fay, Fay, 25.4. What is it that's a Fay? Why does it change? Okay. What? That combined into that. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I... Well, kind of. Well, that's a strange shape. Oh my god. That, that's fine for now. Again, I'm probably going to do a high poly for this. No, I will 100% do a high poly for this. Chests are awesome. Having a nice... Awesome looking chest is going to be great. Oh, whoops. I rotated it lit. Twice by it. Cool. Second hand on. Nice. Now we need like a big lock at the front. Now what if we have like... I mean, while we're here, I should probably uh, combine all these. And do a quickie bevel on that too. Oh, instantly looks better. Right, we're gonna actually see me. Oh no, I'm gonna do this tonight. Something like that. I believe it or not, we're about to see me use a bullion modifier. 
because this is actually a chance where that's very useful to use. I need to get a key shape first. You know, my mate says, my mate, he was very into that, so he to me the other day. That was really, I'm really glad he said it's really helpful. And it's that people need to realize their limitations will do 3D art. He said, most artists will use. Um, that. he said most artists will use a form of reference and he said some artists refuse to accept that though and it can really hinder their performance in the future he didn't quite say it like that but it was on the right lines um, because they're too over keen on making everything themselves and it keeps their work at a limit But if you just take ideas from already good ideas, your work's going to be really, like much better. Obviously, some people don't like people using reference, and is it? And they do say it's cheating, but there's nothing wrong with using reference. I think I need to, yeah. So this is going to be. Okay, where, where is its naming? Uh. Hole. This. Brilliant. Yo. Is that correct? Nice. <coughs> now. It's about fixing the, oh, fixing the geometry. This is why Boolean is a great. You can get some tools that will work pretty well, um, and not have all of this cleaning up to do. You, usually, in general, Boolean has a lot of cleaning up to do. I can't even see the next one. Oh, wow. I didn't save the whole thing. What is happening? Do you see that shading? What's causing that? Why does a shading break sometimes, man? And what's the quickest way to do this? Surely it's just to select this. Go triangulate. There you go. Failed. To be fair, this part's really easy. There you go. Now, will it let me do a bevel here? That's not. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, that's annoying. Um, why don't I just. Hello, Governor. All right, Mega Coolman. How's it going, my dude? Uh, see, why don't we turn that up anymore? That's interesting. The dog go mental outside. It does annoy me that um, sometimes that's a lot of trouble be uh, beveling. This shape it should be fine with. There's nothing like that's called will be causing some sort of overlapping. Not 
not quite sure. I shouldn't have deleted the little key um, I did actually because I need to model a key. Um, so I'm going to take this shape. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily need a key, but we'll model one anyway. So how's it going, my cool man? Grid does not like it. What about a bridge? No. I'll do it myself. Oh, well, that's probably why. Let's try that again then. Okay. Cool. I don't want it as separate. I just had it far away just to work. Uh, thingy. There you go. That's our key. We'll make spot thinner actually. Like that. Big chunky key. And then it goes something like this, something like this. Oh. Then you'd be like, whoosh. Um, <laughs> wait, that's not getting to the center at all. I'll be rotating um, around this point. There you go. Probably a tiny bit shorter than the, a tiny bit smaller than the actual lock. Uh, and then I need. Mm, I don't want to model this part. Do I want to model it as one shape? I know it's like against my golden rule. Circle is so small, there you go. Um, Modeling it as one shape just doesn't seem like a good idea. So instead, <laughs> we're not going to. We're going to, first of all, bring that back a bit more. Actually, no. Oh my god, stop lagging. There you go. Save all got so far before it freaking crashes on me. I wouldn't be surprised. But you know what? I should probably have an edge loop here and actually make it go a bit more uh, spherical. Spherical, spherical. Uh, not here, I want that stuff to be flat. Oh, the dogs are going crazy. Not my dog, but those dogs in the street. Or down the street. That's better. Let's pop a spawn in there. Pop a cap in that. I mean, I'll get thinner in a minute when I actually do what I want to do. Um, I think two ways I could do this. I'm thinking I want it to be kind of square. This is a little too big. We'll see how big it gets when I um, actually uh, subdivide it. Get some of this. Probably got to be smaller, we'll see. Yeah, so that's like a very square one. Maybe I don't want that. I don't want that. I just need to connect these up. And after they're connected up, it should. You have to just do a smooth. Oh, wow, that doesn't work as well as I thought it would. Must be better. Right, so instead, you got dropping in the food stage. So nervous. Oh, where for? Or oh, what? What are you doing? I guess. Give some of the deets. I 
Uh, so, easiest way to uh, probably accomplish this is just a cylinder. They do. Ren Kitchen. Do they just make 3D um, kitchens? Ah, they do. Okay. Nice. That looks cool. Ooh. That looks awesome. I haven't done stuff like that in so long. In fact, it's been so long, there's not even stuff like that on my portfolio. I think I'm on portfolio is all game stuff. <laughs> Looks very exciting, though. But my hair is whack right now, one second. They always miss a little bit of my fringe when I'm doing this, and it freaking hangs over my head. Front of my head, and I'm just like, oh. I did want to do games, but no luck for me. Hey, don't worry. I haven't had any job in five years, and I've been applying for everything. Um, well, except retail work, but I mean, when it comes to computer based work. <laughs> I think my applications are just straight up cursed at this point. Hey, Nabil, how's it going? Nabil, Nabil. Now, I think I want to just remove these. I got a few rejection emails recently of that. I was, I'm actually happy that I got rejection emails. I know that sounds really like what? But companies don't even usually get back to me. So to actually at least get a rejection email is a step up uh, <laughs> of what I'm used to. like that i want like this big over-the-top cartoony you know what i mean looking key Is it what I'm looking for? Definitely closer. Where's my reference gone? Definitely closer. It looks that you've improved your modeling speed in Blender, probably. Thank you, thank you. Well, um, I'm just making pretty simple stuff right now. So, leave your applause for later when I'm actually doing something more complex. Oh, I left the key turned. I didn't even realize. Wait, did I? Oh, I totally looked turned for a second. And um, you know what? They usually have a slight point at the front. Just like this, and it comes in. And then, boom, I don't have an interior for it, but boom. And this could be like just on the ground. Something like that. Just somewhere in the place. But we've got a little chest. Again, this will be, I will do a ZBrush to this and actually make it look properly. Look properly? You know what I mean. Oh, man. So that's you. There you go. Uh... We'll apply it, that's fine. Apply, because cool, I want to connect everything up now. Do you serve modifiers? No, cool. That's everything. Fine. Really? Is it because I got... No? Really? Oh, wait. Well, first of all, I can get rid of your bottom. 
Cool. But that should be smoothing fine after connecting it. Oh, I am selecting the key as well. Let me um. That's very strange. That is clearly not smoothing on 90 degrees because all of this as well. What is going on? This isn't fixing it, no, not at all. Did you use control one to see subdivision results? Control. Oh yeah, I forget that. I don't want to subdivide it anyway. Um. Look, why is that looking so weird? I know it's like the normals, but it's what it looks like before combining it. Um. So combine them slowly. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Not fine. Not fine. Yeah, that's already smoothed. Why is this blanked out? Look, like, why isn't that smooth now? What is going on? Check reviews. Very confused, man. I shouldn't be having any issues. That's working now, but that's still giving me weird results here. And again, it won't work if I wait the normals. Oh, oh well, no, it's still not. Wait, is that just shadows? Not shadows. Okay, is it working now? Kind of. Oh well. Not to say, oh well, look, what is wrong with that? Why is this like coloured out? I'm so confused. You need to flip normals now. No, have we got back fit? Wait, no. If the normals need to flip in the back face, I'd be seeing through it alert. Let it be completely transparent. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, that can't be the reason. I thought something got the reason. When it's detached, it's fine. What if I just grouped them? I need group and blender. Oh, what the heck? They merged those in there, fine? Yeah. Children. Right. Think normal to is wrong, just apply normal weighted modifier to fix it. As in have it flat and then apply that. That's what we've got to connect it. No. I mean, even... Oh, no, that has to be. And you have to have a smooth one when you have this on. It literally says it. Look. Enable what's smooth. Unless I'm missing something here. These are the small things I look at Blender. I'm like, Maya wouldn't have this issue. I love Blender, but yeah, Maya would... Uh, yeah, Maya would not be experiencing this issue. Very, very annoying. I'll try and edit mode to make sharp edges. Can you do mangle sharp edges? Yeah, have you like got a mark? <sighs> like sharp edge. Because of the geometry. I mean, I could always just um. I mean, the issue is why is this being banked out? I can't change this value. Why? I said, undo till uh, the point where they're all separate. Right? 
don't know how far back I can go. Not enough, apparently. So, so, oh, you got to do an edit mode, sorry. Parade parts. Okay. You know, am I missing something? Why is this? Why is this option blanked out, even if it's ticked? Okay, there's something there I'm not aware of. Um, yeah, okay, constraints. Oh. Um, I don't know. Because it's enabled on this. If I just set them all like that. There you go. Place that as a separate mesh. Check the normal orientation. But if the normals are facing the wrong way, wouldn't it be doing this? Like I just said. Like the normals are facing inwards, for example, wouldn't it? Oh wait, I just turned off thinking I when it looked transparent like that. With back face culling on. I mean like uh oh yeah. Like I said, why is this disabled? I'm really confused. Right out. Yeah, if some faces are facing the wrong way, you'll have them looking visible like this. I'll try alt in quick. Alt in. Recalculate outside. Yeah, which is what I've been doing, which is shift then. Clear custom split normal data to re-enable it. Object data panel. Object data panel. Oh, so that one it has got it. So let's go here for example. Geometry data. Aha! Well that's enabled that at least. I don't know how much that's actually helped me out. Combine them all together again. Go to where? Viewport. Viewport face orientation. Where? This is our viewport, right? Aha, so that's already helping. And then it would need this on it to stop some of that working. Okay. Well, let's combine that. There you go. It was just that. It was because it I was having its own. It, it was like having. What's it called in Maya? Reset transformations, I think. It wasn't resetting all the options on it. Although, we're still getting some uh, sharp bits here. But other than that, it's way better already than what it was looking like. Yeah, but now it's letting me actually edit it. Oh, it's because I've not got... Oh, bugger. The, the, oh. So it's almost fixed. Wait. No, yeah. It's just this part now. These parts look good now. We ain't got weird results here. So where do you want me to look? Ch go to check. Go to viewport face orientation. I thought this is what this is called. The viewport. Am I being stupid? Where is face orientation? You. Viewport. 
viewpoint. Wait, did you say viewpoint or viewport? Viewport. So on the top right, so up here. Oh, you've got to go in edit mode. Yes, and force your decision. Anyway, just select the entire mesh. Normal. Re oh, yeah, I already know that. Yeah, I already know that, which is uh, Alt. Oh, and. Okay, that's so. That should reverse them, yeah. No things. It's very close to working. It's just this freaking interior bit. I mean, one way I bet would fix it anyway. Is if I just this might not work, but I have a hunch it might. There you go. I just it's just weird that it I had to do that to fix it. I mean we fixed a lot of the other issues by clearing the geometry data. But to be honest, I probably should have it like that anyways, because when I did a high poly having them as separate pieces would work better. Okay. Did I move a... Oh. Oh, right. This one over here. Like a huge one over here. Or when I want to grab it later, if I want to do anything with it, and then we'll start placing small ones in the scene. But I want one, like, hidden right here. Oh, it's going through the wall. But what is that? This is why I should have made the hole a little bit further. I wonder if I could still do that without messing anything up. Option on intersected of two circle to check go to viewport base orientation. I don't know what you mean go to viewport, Nabal. Viewport is from what I'm aware, the name of what this is. Like, it's this screen. Like, if I'm in Maya, that's called the viewport. Oh, two circle icons, right. Option on the insect, right, right, sorry. I didn't mean to load up Maya then. These two circle icons. Optional insects of two circles, I can check, go to viewport. And then is it in there? Right. I mean, the orientation was fine. Uh, not, I, I'm not trying to say disrespectful to you guys. The orientation was fine. Um, like I said, if it was facing the wrong way, you'd be seeing them, like, invisible. Uh, like, if I show you, again... Like if your intention was the other way, I'd be doing that. Am, am I am I incorrect? I mean, maybe, maybe I'm being stupid. Um, we have to pull that bit put it underneath one too. Oh, my God. 
that. Slightly move that. There you go, which means when I'm in here. Oh. I need to move edges. It just takes for facing them. Okay, 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 okay. I was just making sure. I was just confused. Hide that and hide that and rotate. We need that. Unhide everything. Wrong button. Okay. That should be resting on the wall. Roughly. Wait, how thin is this wall? Oh my god, very. Um. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't need to be um, thick. I just, it's just, it gives me a lot of leeway if it's thick. Um, pretty much. Oh, yeah, I turned away at normal's off because it was getting weird things. Yeah, I wonder if that fixed it in here now, though. Oh, no, it's not. Let's look at that. Um, I don't know if that's just the lighting there. Oh, it's just the lighting. I think. When I move it, it looks like. Light has confused me a lot in this scene because sometimes it does mess up some of the geometry where it looks. Okay, okay. Do I know what I'm doing here yet? Do you think I should just, um... Alright, I've got back face on. Let me turn that off so I can see what, uh, where this goes. Like, uh, like, do you think I should just have like a... A sphere? Oh. Yeah. And turn that to maybe 16 there. 40. Mm, 40. I think it'd be very small. Then <clears throat> move them to local, stretch them a tad, pull them down a tad. And then we just have like little rings here that looks like it's sort of holding them. You're probably never going to see this. Uh, I doubt I'm ever, pro I'm probably never going to do a camera point from this angle. Um, but with that said, I, it's nice to have things functioning, you know. Have it look like it's supposed to be working like that. But I don't see much. That's the case, maybe. Ooh. So let's left both of these and that and hide them together. There you go. Uh, the place is made at the ends. up a little bit. Let's get out of it. Oh god. Skeleton a lot. There's probably something like that. Just to kind of look like it's been held in in some way. You know what I mean? I don't need anything special over here. Boom. Turn you down. And I'll probably never have camera angle even showing that. Maybe, maybe you'd see it like here or something. You could just see it slight um, holding it together there. Okay. 
Now I want to... Oh, wait. Let's place a chest in more places. So I've got one here. And... I kind of just want it to look... You know, like in video games, where you just see freaking the same chest over and over again. I kind of want it to be like that. Where it just looks like there's treasure. Like one, maybe... I should have it like down there, though. One maybe pressed up against here. And then maybe one just out here. Again, I'll do a very nice um, Z brush of it. Make it look fancy, you know. Cool. A little chest there. Um. I want to do a stylized bed. Now, I still don't know if I want to go have a hammock, though. Right? Like... That's a pretty simple stylized bed I'm looking at right now. Some stuff, some stuff. <coughs> okay. First one of the pile by accident. How did I do that? How did I do that? Did I just select just them by accident? Uh, they need to be a tad thicker, I think. You check statistics of whole project. I mean, how many polys? I don't know how. How did I do that? I would if I knew. I mean, right now it's not optimized anyway. Mm -hmm. But um, I know there's an option. I just can't remember how. I want to go into edit mode. Am I being stupid? I guess that mobile thing's usually going to edit mode. It's working now. Bit chunkier, there you go. I should be um, obviously keeping the poly count somewhat maintained because I do want to have this in the Unreal Engine. Um, I do, I do need to be looking at that, admittedly. But again, it's obviously not optimized right now because the scene isn't scene. Um, it's not. I'm not designing it. I'm optimizing it right now. I'll do that later when I've got everything the way I want it. Same icon of the. Oh, okay. Oh, is it just statistics? Aha! Nice. Okay, so now if I... Jump. Hi, Darned... Darned Ghost. How's it going, man? Didn't I read your name really poorly last time? I was like, Darned... Darned Ghost? I probably didn't say that. Uh, okay, so if I said all here... Well, that's such, I think, interior as well. So we're looking at... Oh, wow! Not even a million yet? I'm... Very surprised. There's very few optimized things actually in here. Does that... Wait. Wait, no, that's not right. Does that tell me the entire scene? Wait, should I... Oh, I should hide it first. Does that tell me as well if it's got a subdivision in the modifier? Let me, I can check. Let me uh, get a cube. If I hide this cube, it shows... Six faces. If I subdivide, oh, it does. Same with bevel, I assume. Nice. Okay, okay. So that's everything. Wow, I'm very surprised it's so low. I thought it'd be way higher than that. Even like these, when they're subdivided, probably have loads of polys, no? 
Well, actually, not too bad. So again, we're looking at... Uh, 600,000 uh, polys. And that will just get reduced and reduced. Um, well, actually, I need to add stuff, don't I? But, you know, it will get optimized at some point. I'm actually very surprised. I thought it was going to be way higher because I've not been caring about poly count. Quite happy with that. Where is this from? This is great. Sims. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, so I need that one to also come over here. The bottom bunk, if I do stick with bunk beds, I want to be his little, like, I don't know, drawing area or something. I don't want it to be a bed. Because, like I said, the premise is it's a kid who runs this ship, like a 15 year old tank. Uh, I think the idea that it's a kid that runs this ship would be really cool. Like, he's just an adventurous kid. Um,. I like that idea. This reminds me of Bioshock a lot. Yeah, yeah, someone said that to me not too, um, not too long ago. I can't remember when. And I was like, ah, oh, you're right. I think if, I've never even played it. I assume you mean the third game. Um, right. I don't even need that reference picture up anymore. I kind of like having it up to show you guys like what I'm actually uh, modding from. Because I didn't come up with the idea myself. I don't want to take credit for it. But at this point, I'm not doing anything in the concept anymore. I'm doing all my own stuff. <laughs> yeah, freaking Bioshock, man. Oh, Bioshock was such a beautiful game. Bioshock. Oh, that's tiny. There you go. So cool. I was thinking, I really want to do like a little animated thing for this in Unreal, and I want the character to look off and there'd be like a city, like a floating city, but I don't know how I'd do that in my time frame. I'm not, I'm like one guy. I don't think I'd be capable of doing all that. I love it. I love you. I mean, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, if you work for a game company, it gives an important number of plug it's just for conceptual, they don't give an importance to that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I've done freelance stuff before, yeah, and obviously, it come like it's important to know how to the poly count of things because it runs better. Especially if it's uh, some stuff I've worked for, they were looking at the idea of making it like uh, for mobile, so that's really important when that's the case. Because people are saying at the moment, like, um, I should do it like this. That, um, oh, but with the new Unreal coming out, poly count won't matter. And I get what they mean. Yeah, poly count won't matter. But companies still probably don't want to see loads of wasted polygons at the end of the day. Oh. I guess I'll just have a go into the floor of my version. I'm looking at Concentra. I'm, I'm looking at this. Would be my base is what we're making here. Pretty sure that will only That is true as well. But at the end of the day, I'm just here to have fun. Everything I've made I've put in the Unreal Engine and it's worked fine, you know what I mean? Like 
I've not had issues even with the poly count. Um, not being monitored too harshly. So as long as that works, you know. Wait, did I put a face on that? And then I didn't need it in the end because I connected it. Silly Billy. Um, let's go here. Building things out of just rectangles is so fun. I don't know if you guys get the satisfaction, but I love just like <laughs> taking loads of rectangles and building shapes. And a very entertaining. That's too high, surely. Oh no, because I guess the mattress will come up to here. So in reality, he's only getting like a little gap like this, and that's probably fine. These two beams across it too. But I've put so many beds together. How many beds have you guys put together in uh, in, in your time? This is really relaxing music for what's going on. I mean, this isn't exactly exciting what's going on, but music's really nice. <laughs> no complaints from me. I did just write the number one. I'm going mean, to say, hey, hello, Daniel Igna. How's it going, my dude? Would you like to see the progress I've made today if you're just dropping in? If every object with millions of employees, it will definitely uh, sack the system down. Yeah, it's another thing to create instances of one high detailed object. Yeah, I mean, I think what also gets me actually, I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll show Daniel quick what I've been working on, and I'll say what I want to say. So let me just hide everything I've not finished. We got this going on right at the moment. We got if we actually go into lighting mode, we've got a nicer, nicer looking shading. We've got small items like some wooden mugs. I followed your other videos but didn't catch your stream. Ooh. You get to see what I make on stream. I just make I, I like I said before, I just make stuff for fun. Um don't always take my streams and watch them and be like, this is perfect. This is how I should be modeling. I mean I can model fine, but don't always take everything I do as um as the way you should do stuff. We've got like roof tile stuff. We've got we started working on the interior. I, I've only got block out stuff on the interior, so don't hey dark, so don't uh judge me too hard. We're making the actual bed right now. Um, a desk, I guess, everywhere. I don't know yet. Go out to here. We've got some flowers and stuff. We've got a little flag bit. We've got some lanterns. That's facing the wrong way. Why would he face it outwards? He'd face it inwards. And yep. And then if you come into here, you can go down. And you come down into here. I kind of want to delete this quick. I actually go into the camera because the camera's got a better angle on it. There you go. Uh, we just made a chest that I've placed at a couple of places. I like the style really nice. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, I want to do some sort of core in here. It's just a cube at the moment, but you know, like the idea of the cube going... And it's... Um, like a magical way of the boat lifting itself into the air because obviously this boat wouldn't actually stay in the air it could be pushed forward because the um um sails yeah um but it wouldn't be able to actually have any uplift again it's supposed to be flying so i want to have something in here that's magical that gives it the reason that it's flying um my may actually suggested having like a chained up rock or like a floating rock in there that's essentially pushing the boat up but there's chains in there Get a fantasy power source, pretty pretty much. It's a it's a cop out, so I don't actually have to make a, a mechanical reason for it to fly. You know what I mean? Let's undo and get that back there. Yeah. What was we just doing? I've actually completely lost control. All oh, right, there you go. I was I going to say as well? I was going to mention something. Oh yeah, people have always been saying with the, the new Unreal Engine, oh, there's no limit and all this stuff. Like, yeah, that's cool and all. Don't get me wrong, but artists still have to make it. And people seem to forget that the higher detail you make everything, the longer it's going to take to make it. If you have a really high detailed surface, it's going to be harder to UV map and harder to um, texture and harder to model. Um, 
people seem to forget this and they're like oh Oh, it's gonna make these fantastic looking games in Unreal Engine 5. They have no limit, like, except their own artistic talents. Um, that still comes into play. Like a wow, like a chamber with a tiny tornado inside. Oh, that'd be cool. I'd have to do a particle effect. My brother actually said, have like a um, a sphere, like a mystical looking sphere with the boat inside it, like a miniature version of the boat inside it. And it's to signify that anything inside that sphere is floating. I said, like, that's a really good idea as well. Uh, I've been given so many good ideas recently of um, how to do it. I just don't know what I'm going to pick yet. Like that, one, like that, like that. Wasn't there supposed to be some update on UE5 by now? Like, I haven't even heard anything again since the announcement. No, I haven't heard anything either, but... Usually my chat tell me when things are happening. I don't look it up myself. So. <laughs> I was just assuming my chat wasn't too, uh, too up to date with what was going on. So I just assumed. But no, I, I haven't heard anything from my chat. So. We'll catch you next time. We'd love to catch a full stream. Maybe next time I'll have more time. Cheers. Have a good one, man. Hope you enjoyed the little bit you did watch. Grab this and pull this up and then just do this. You get a nice curve to it. Yeah, I like that. I think I want more divisions though. Yeah. Do we want to smooth this a little bit? Yeah. Not that many times though. Oh, that's my Facebook. I'm sorry. Mute that. My friend was just asking if I wanted to play games later. Oh god. No, no. Bring back up my YouTube chat. There you go. Um. Yeah, yeah. You, you're right, Nabble. Like, they clearly will have limits. I've, I said when I first saw the trailer, like, I think there's, like, this over, there's an over-exaggeration that there's no limits, but it's probably has a lot less limits um than previous or than ue4 should i say um i think people just get too excited about new software especially new games man that type this game's gonna gonna be the biggest game ever oh my god and then they get disappointed a couple of weeks later because they're like oh yeah it wasn't as good as i thought it was gonna be i'm like well yeah you overhyped it i, I don't overhype anything I'm always aware that something is, could be awful. I don't think UE5 is going to be awful, don't get me wrong. I'm just giving an over-exaggerated example. So we talk about an update today. don't remember what he said. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, this keeps looking like it's way too tall, but then I'm like, no, the mattress needs to go there, and the mattress has a thickness. I wanted to hear more from, um... I can't say the name. Errorless. Uh, uh, I'm so bad with names. Errorless. Errorless. The person you said about, um... Getting a job, uh, well, getting an interview for Ren Kitchen. I want to. I want to hear more. That way, I can take the tips that they have and get a job myself. No, that's not the reason. Where's my? There you go. awesome like coming back to blender so like, like people keep saying to me like oh all the controls have changed it's so different than the new version it's not that different not from what i remember when i used to use blender like all these controls were very familiar i don't want an airship now as in one of your own mate i want to just go to blimp or something like or a 
hot air balloon. I want to go into something that flies. I've never been abroad before. Planes and everything, great. But the idea of a hot air balloon and being in like this, essentially this glorified basket attached to a, uh, a huge cloth with hot air in it. <laughs> sounds awful to explain it like that. That sounds so cool. I just want to like look out and be like, whoa. I just, oh, just for private use, you know. Oh, God. Could you imagine having this? For private use like this person would never leave i don't know whether I, I don't know why but i was thinking about what about when they go to the bathroom what is the, i don't have a bathroom do they just pee off the side and poo uh, <laughs> like that's that's nasty god we're looking good for this so far mm -hmm. i need all this on the bottom by the looks of it shocked face right <laughs> there's so many things i look at and it's not, honestly um sounds gonna be like we but one of the things i say about anime is there's so many mystical things watching anime and i'm just like dude could you imagine if this was real like it was so cool like oh if this i get so giddy when i watch stuff like anime because i'm just like Especially when I watch, especially like when I watch Spirited Away with my mate Jack, there's so many mystical things in that one movie. And just imagine any of that being real is so cool. That's what the poop deck is for. You just need to be higher than all the other ships. Oh, that's nasty. Jesus Christ. One man. <laughs> Okay, we just need beams across here. Oh, that lined up pretty well, actually. This is going to be really awkward to do a high poly for, man. There's so much here. Oh, wait, we don't need a full bob. We want a desk or something in the bowl. I'm not sure yet. Oh, wait. Wait, did I not have... Did I not add the ladder bit yet? The steps to the ladder. One of the steps is like this. Intersecting. I mean, you'd never use that step, right? You just step here. What madman would put a step there? I refuse. Those steps are a little too far apart, I think so. More like this. Yeah, that's that's more like it. That's what it's all about. Um looking good, looking good. But it's not too much hassle for me to look good. Do you ever do you ever hear about Arimus Arimus? 3D legendary artist. Oh. Maybe? Name looks familiar. Oh, is this the person who makes a load of weapons? I can always just quickly flip, flip in, grab this pillow I have in here. Nope, in here. There it is. Wait, where did the pillow go? What the heck? How? What? 
What? Where am I? There you go. What happened? Why? Why when I did, did forget the pillow? It went miles away. Did I accidentally do like this? That's weird. <laughs> Right, we got a pillow. You know, I might make alternatives, but we got a pillow. Cool. Need a mattress. I think, um, do I want to do this like this? I would probably sculpt this. I could sculpt it in Blender, but I don't know how to use Blender sculpting tools. Um, that's not good. I wonder if I could just put a... That's not going to work. I'll give it a shot, but that's not going to work. What if I just did a very, very quick cloth? Get back up here. And we turned off gravity, whatever that is. Oh, just pause my stream. I, this is I, I doubt this is what gonna work, but I'm just curious. If we where's gravity? Gravity, turn that off. If I then just put a tiny bit of pressure in it and simulate that. Nothing, eh? Oh, because I didn't actually press. And I always turn off my numb lock. Oh my god. Oh. Kinda did what I wanted it to. That's turning off gravity could be. Yeah, you're not wrong there. I wanted to be a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> not that much. I was gonna say a little bit more detailed. What if I do that first? Add another modifier. Divide. I just wanted to generate creases. Instead of having to model them myself. I've not had the privilege of using something that generates... Oh, that kind of works. You know what? I like that. Well, um... Oh, God, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, it kept it. I've got to... I guess i got to get rid of that for a second and then apply that. Cool. Now that should stay like that. Cool. Now we've slightly thinned it out. It didn't add much detail, so I'll probably still have to go into ZBrush and add some detail. Again, I could do it in Blender, but I don't really... I haven't learned the sculpting in Blender yet, so when I get around to it... Cool, cool, cool. Now, the easiest way to do what I want to do here is probably just grab this, grab this, this. Grab 
Mm. Nah. Uh. Those. Can't hide. Cool. Select and very, very slightly yell it up. Yes. Cool. Very nice. Oh, I should have actually. Well, I guess I could always do another duplicate of this because what I want to do is where that connects, which I'm pretty sure was roughly here. That should be fine. Uh, this, I want to... Nope. Yes. Rude. Slightly thin, actually. Actually, no, what we'll do is we'll delete this. Pull these in. Sub the. Uh, not sub the Scale. Kinda what I was looking for. We'll do it a bit more like that. Yes, that's that's pretty good, pretty good. Any problem is we've got this part that I probably could just do this to slightly tuck that in. Probably. Um not too fast to be honest. Okay. Okay. And then I need creases in this, but again, I digress. I don't know how to use um blender's thingy. So we'll learn we'll learn that at some point. I also need the pillow. Sitting up like that. Lovely. Is it a bit long? It's a bit long, isn't it? It needs to be like squished a little bit, right? Or maybe just a little bit wider. Stop it. That's a little bit better. Pull that away for a second. Um, now I need like a desk that would sit underneath it. And maybe some drawers behind it. Stop that. Maybe. Now, depending on how I want to do this, because this is several different ways, it could just literally do like a block, like this concept actually looks like it's slightly inset, I'd say. Should I have like a... Oh, no, no, no. I don't know how modern I still want this to look. Like, if I have a wheelie computer chair, I think that might be a little too modern. Let's just have a... That's going to be too big, isn't it? Chest draws like this. Maybe chest draws like this, and it kind of, it the draws come this way. We'll just have draws at the front, you know. What if we? Uh, 
have like two sets of drawers instead. Sets of drawers. Well, we can have one like partly open. I think that'd be nice. Um, if I want to go with that, because I still want like a desk over here. It's the problem when it's like coming up with your own ideas. I don't fully know what I want. Not yet, anyway. I don't know what these sets get in. I know you can do it with that tool. Works anyway. Combine all that, I think. The origin, change scale, bevel all that. Nice. Wait, normal all of it. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Especially is why are those weighted normals actually so small? Uh, why is the bevel so small? That's very interesting. What's causing that to be so small? Uh, it still works for what I want. But I'd like those bevels to be a tiny bit stronger. Oh well. That looks nice. Um, let's see. Or alright, stylized desk. What do we get? Not really what I had in mind. Oops. Yeah, computer desk. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, what I just saw. So what if we make it out of planks? So the desk doesn't look like it's going to be part of what the bed would have been built from. <coughs> like the desk would have just been placed here afterwards. I like how his bunk bed kind of looks like he got it from Ikea. Like, so I'm going to build this entire ship, but this desk, Ikea. I'm about to see you in Discord, dude. Have a good one, man. Then we have those corner bulgies. Not too tall. That's too tall. A little bit shorter. music 
11 minutes long. Every time I'm like, this is lasting forever when that song comes on. Um, wait, I made this come out way too far in this side. Whoops. Close. Uh, a little bit too much. A little, little, very little bit more. There you go. Uh, we'll add a second one, and then we'll add. This. It didn't really matter the order I did that in. Smooth. You. There you go. And obviously, I need to make them so they actually fit. We'll make some a little bit longer. Some a tiny bit shorter. Something like that. Then we'll add a bunch of subdivisions. Cool. And we'll grab some and basically just slightly warp some of the uh, some of the geometry of it. Like, we want it flat enough at least in one area for him to actually do stuff. But at the same time... We want it to look, un uh, like, different enough as it's going along. Yeah, these. Let me scale that one down. Maybe scale this one. Oh god! Let's just say like up. Let's start slightly earlier on this. In different locations. Oh, that's a little too much. There you go. Slight. Slightly pull it. There you go. Just adjust that shape until it looks a bit more natural. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now we need a chair in a very similar manner. Uh, honestly, probably copy some of this, at least the legs. A little bit bigger of a chair. Let's bring these in a little bit. Forward. Oh, we've got four legs to the chair. A little too tall still. So we'll grab all of those. Grab the tippy tops. Put that to add. Cool. Now, grab some other areas. Make. It's a little bit different. Got a board on top.
get a little bit bigger. I'll scale around the right. Interesting. And I'll just do that then. Go into edit mode. A little bit bigger. I think that kind of looks uncomfortable, but he could always put his legs in between those gaps. Uh, honestly, that's probably that sh should probably be just a, uh, a single beam, surely. That. Something like that. Again, I'm always changing things if I don't like how they look in the long run. Looks like doesn't look good. Go. Cool. These should have yeah that on it. So if I select these last, or the other right way around, because everything else, like these, boom, that just moves. Not actually that great. Um, wait, did I not connect it? Oh, I connected it to one leg. Whoops. Uh, might change the chair in the future. It's also very low down. Unless I make the chair huge, which definitely doesn't look right. That's about the right size. You know what, that actually doesn't look too bad. No, that looks right. Okay. Do I still want like a chest of drawers? Or do I not want a chest of drawers? So that's the, pretty much the question. <laughs> That last uh, thingy is a very. I select this there. Oh, right, they're combined. I'll say, can I just select that? What's going on? Put them down a little bit. Cool. Pull this down. Don't mind having a slightly thicker top. It kind of makes sense. And I don't want it to be symmetrical intentionally when anyone says anything. Cool. So if I make an actual inset for them, I don't know how far back I'm going. Cool. Oh, the inset should have been smaller than the front. What am I doing? Oh, look at that key. I forgot I made a huge key. Uh, let's actually place that somewhere in the building. Probably in this bedroom, actually. I know it's a freaking huge key right now, it's a second bigger. Tilted correctly. Slide it on in over there. Yo, cool. don't know what it's for until you see the chest and you're like, oh, I wonder if that key opens those chests. Big brain. One of the first things I ever made in, in a 3D software was a chest of drawers. Um, it's probably a better looking chest of drawers in general, but 
not too fast right now just for what we're going for That's a little too much. Oh, I haven't got this on. That would help, actually. Uh, I would like one that should be open. Which means for this one, quickly need. As you know, it needs to be. Well, I'll, I'll make the whole shape first before doing the inset. Uh, I could always just see this. Wrong button. H, there you go. Well, that's very close to being perfect. A little bit better. Of that needs to just fit in there. Um, I don't need the back to it because I'm silly Billy. Go that. Go. And then all I need to do is select this piece and extrude with that button. Yep. And give it some thickness. Boom, we've got a draw. Then I give a random items in there in the future. Uh, maybe I'll have another one down here slightly open. So if that's the case. Just duplicate this to save time. Or did the hole not get put quite in the right place down here? Oh no, that's fine. I have to pull that back a little bit. And... Oh, I haven't put the freaking handles on them yet. Need some sort of handle. I don't know what's Good enough for now. Double on that, scale it. Cool. And that's our little uh, chest drawers. I'd like like a uh, something there, maybe a lantern, uh, maybe some toys something i obviously want uh, some paper here that you could draw with oh maybe i'll do a feather instead of like actual pens that'd be cool maybe i want like a little candle as well and a cup I modeled that in such a weird way, didn't I? Maybe like here, then you can have these little paper with these pen there. Um, I actually made a candle, so I'm just going to nick the one I made. No point making a whole new one.
and this bed is obviously way too like big it's, it's gonna be shrunk down don't you worry guys nice big candle over here cool to light up his desk that's a huge candle though that's freaking massive so let's scale it down a tad that there you go i don't mind having a huge candle to bring home that over exaggerated look but i think that was a little too much okay that's a pretty good bed let's uh replace the crappy one i have in here that i made quickly that's all made up of different shapes apparently that's great It doesn't reach the ground properly. You see that? Uh, we'll delete this for now. Oh yeah, I need to make a nice looking cupboard as well. Actually, we'll keep that there for now. Just while I haven't made one. Because I put a just straws under his uh, thingy now. Select the whole thing. I'm going to move it somewhere for now. We're going to set all the origin points. That should scale correctly. Yep. If I move that over now. Try to fit that in. To his little room. That's about the right scale, right? We could have it taking up more of the space. Does that look right? Well, a pillow looks the kind of right scale. And that's that one I do want slightly bigger, so it's probably about right. Turn this on. We've got some that bits that overlap, so maybe we'll uh slight oh, I can't really. Well actually what I sh what I should do is grab that piece of geometry. And on you basically where the mattress will get sort of pushed in by the wood will you know actually push it in by the wood I will grab it there it's actually shaping a little bit better should be sitting on the wood platforms nice lovely jumpy Pillow is not quite hitting that. There you go. Not quite hitting its stride. That's sharp. There you go. Ah, that's better. Cool. And we'll probably uh, do the same thing right here where we. I combine them without having any trouble. Wait, that wasn't combined? Why I had it combined. Yeah. Um, over here we'll grab this and pull this in a tad. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I don't want this to be a bit poofier. Um, so like that, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Now, one thing I need to change that I didn't. Well, that slightly tilt things so they're not quite flush. Cool. That's still a, that slight, oh, slight tilt. I mean, that slight offset will always, always really uh, look really nice. Is that thinner than that? Oh my god.
Oh. For all those faces, which apparently have already been selected. Be deleted. There you go. Oh, and the bottoms. Again, this isn't really set in stone, this railing. I just wanted it to not look as flat as it was. Um, yeah, I don't know what I want here now. Because I've got chest drawers here. Maybe a chest. <laughs> as soon as you realise the chests are huge... That's a bit of a better size. Well, maybe I'll have a little bit bigger. You know, that looks a something. Um, I like that. It's like something's actually there now. Uh, you know what, though? I feel like this just be great. Okay, I'm not playing. and just have like a rag thrown over it like he doesn't use the chest but it'd be awesome put you put a collision one on you put you put a cloth one on you we need to change anything in the cloth sim Oh, those edges don't don't give it any justice. What's going on there? Why isn't that drooping over a little bit more? Um, let me subdivide it first. A little bit better. So I want it to flap down a bit more over there. Less stiffness. What if I put it to like no stiffness? Oh, that's a super help at all. Um, as I turn up to quality steps, nothing really. Just slower, make it lighter. Ooh. I want to fold more at the sides. That's better. That looks good. Cool. Oh yeah, it's over the lock as well. Perfect. Nice. Oh, and then what about some a strap around it? A strap around. You won't be able to open it with a strap around it. Where in this case, you could just throw the cloth off. So maybe I don't want to strap around it. Now, I probably shouldn't have this on. The whole thing just needs to be smoothed. There you go. Nice. Let me subdivision that. No subdivisions. It still kind of looks alright. But I'd rather have that many. Like apply. It's not crazy high poly.
All right. That's all I'm going to do for today. I think makes good progress. Really doing some decent stuff with the interior now. Uh, we made a chest. What else did we do? I can't even remember. We didn't do anything down here, did we? Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, those of you who stayed the whole time, thank you very much. And I will catch you guys next time. We're actually like third day in a row, so maybe we'll do another one tomorrow. Bye, bye. Yeah, no, that's glitchy. All right, bye.